Recently, I took a look at the latest Python documentation just to read through it, and I realized I've been doing something terribly wrong when it comes to creating classes. And in general, I thought I was doing this the correct way, but I was mistaken. So I thought I would go over the error that I had with classes. So you guys could also avoid making this error in case you are making this error. But let's go ahead and get started immediately by creating a class called animal. And this is going to almost be taken directly from the documentation. It's a very simple example of how something can go so wrong when you're creating classes. So as you may know, when you create a class, you can go ahead and create some variables inside there, and you can instantiate them directly under the class name. Now, this does lead to undefined behavior that not even the console can catch. So with this being done, let's go ahead and create an initializer. Let's say that each animal is going to have a name. So self.name is going to equal the name that we pass in. And of course, we need to pass that as a parameter. So name of type string, and that's going to equal the name. So this is going to be the case for every new animal we create. And at the moment, we have an empty array of tricks, and we want to be able to teach the animal some sort of trick. So we'll go ahead and create a function called teach trick, which is going to take a trick name of type string. And what it's going to do is call self.tricks and we're going to append the trick name. So at the end of this program, we should be able to see an animal and what kind of tricks they have. Now let's go ahead and test this out. So if we go ahead and let's say create an animal, which is going to be a cat, which is going to equal an animal. And we need to instantiate that with a name, which is going to be cat in this example. And we're going to create a dog, which is going to follow the same instantiation here we have dog now. Let's go ahead and teach these animals some tricks. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and teach the cat how to sleep. And we also want to teach the cat how to roll over in case they have a funky dream. Now the funky part is even though we've created two different classes, if we go ahead and type in cat.tricks and print the dog.tricks, you're going to see that when we run the program, they're both going to have the exact same tricks. And this is the funky part in Python, because what I thought I've been doing until now is creating a private instance of this variable, but that's not how it works in Python. This actually creates a global namespace. So now any animal class that has tricks defined can use it, and it's going to refer to the global version of it. And there's a very simple fix to this, and that is to go ahead and create it inside here. Creating it in the initializer guarantees that it's going to be private to the instance. So if we go ahead and say this is going to equal a new instance of tricks, we can go ahead and rerun the program. And it's going to say that the cat has these two and the dog has none. And we can actually make this a bit more descriptive by just saying that a cat does this and the dog does that. So if we run the program, and of course that didn't work because we need to say cat.name and dog.name. Then it's going to say the cat has these tricks and the dog has those tricks. Now, as you can see, we still defined it here, but every time we create a new instance now, it turns it back to zero, which means each new instance is going to have an empty array. And in general, if you define it down here, it's not really necessary that you define it up here because that can lead to undefined behavior, as I mentioned earlier. And as you saw in the previous example, when we actually just didn't have this at all, we get this result. And that can be extremely difficult to debug because the class works as expected. And it requires you to be awake when you're looking at your code to see that something went wrong. So this is something I've been doing wrong until now. And I've been very lucky because in general, I would do something such as this. Tricks is going to be an array of string. And since I did this, I was forced to create something inside here that instantiates this because this just defines the type that we want to include. While here, we actually instantiate whatever there is. And just because I've been lucky with this doesn't mean I haven't been doing it wrong. So I'm very happy I read the documentation and caught on to this little feature, which I completely missed. And that's actually all I wanted to share in today's lesson. It was a very simple feature that's easy to miss in Python when you're learning it. And it's great to know that this can happen. But with that being said, guys, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.